Look who's here. It's me. Late as always, lazy as always. When was the last time I made a video? I don't even remember. Yes, I do actually. It was the end of last summer when I was crying about how everything will become snowy and everything will be like completely dark and all that. But look at the trend. Summer is starting. My video is starting. From the last video, the comments were very insightful. People really wanted to know more about how do they get a job in their specific field in Sweden? How do they uh, more or less live through the entire summer? But having said that, some of the things, uh, some of the things we will be targeting here and some we will be leaving for the next video, not this one. Today, however, I'll talk about a few very important things. Uh, let's, let's, by the way, look at, look at how the weather looks. It's completely beautiful. It's spring, by the way. It's not summer yet, but uh, it's funny because the, temp the, the temperature now is about uh, 12, 15 average. And it's quite hot if it's 12, you know. In some countries, 12 is like what? It's cold. But here, if you have if you have a temperature of 12 or 15 or 18, it's it's very very hot. The thing that I'll talk about today, before I go to gym, is that is is this a myth that you need to know Swedish to actually live in Sweden? Can you live by not knowing Swedish? Can you work without knowing Swedish? These are some of the questions that I'll answer now. And uh, honestly speaking, I had a stereotype belief that maybe it's almost impossible to live in Sweden without, without knowing Swedish, but that's completely a lie. Okay? If someone tells you this, share this video to them and I'll clear, the, clear their doubts for sure you don't need to know Swedish first of all let's let's start off by listing out things uh, as to who you might be as a person when you are, arrive here you might be a tourist right so if you're a tourist don't worry everyone in Sweden speaks English everyone I mean everyone you don't have to worry about them uh, not knowing English at all because Especially in uh, in the capital cities uh, in in the Nordic countries, everyone knows English, and in Sweden especially, I I believe it's like it's like my belief. I I don't have any statistics to prove this, but I think they speak better English than the British. Prove me wrong, please. Having said that. If you're a tourist, don't worry, you'll get by, you'll, you'll be able to buy things, you'll be able to book hotels without even speaking a single word of Swedish. Moving on, what if you're not a tourist, what if you're a student, like me? If you're a student, don't worry. If you come here for your bachelor's degree, you definitely need to know Swedish. You definitely need to know Swedish. Because all the courses and all the subjects will be in Swedish. So English, bye-bye. No, it's not going to work. At least while you're studying, while you're in the university. But outside, when you talk to people, when you move around, when you buy things, when you, when you just have fun, right? 
you don't need Swedish. Trust me, everyone speaks so well. It's like it's like it's like a dream come true for me. If you come here for masters, for instance, don't worry, the courses will be explicitly in English. Um, even if you come for higher studies, everything's in English. Only the bachelor's is in Swedish, mind you. Now, what if you're not a student? What if you come here for work? Now, it depends, right? What kind of work you come here for. Listen, Sweden is a very diverse country. There are so many, so many people from all around the world coming here, working. And the best part about Sweden is the fact that even if you don't know English, you will find a lot of job opportunities that don't even require it. It's funny because in a country where Swedish is their primary language, they still appreciate the fact that if you don't know Swedish, as long as you're good at your craft, as long as you're a good person, as long as you're a team player, as long as you have work ethic, it doesn't matter. But, of course, there are, there are, there are, you know, uh, some considerations, for example, if you want to work in specific fields where Swedish is necessary, then you might have to learn it. But most of the time, it's not a necessity. For example, I'm doing my thesis. I uh, am working with many employees who are Swedish. Uh, most, some of them are uh, from different countries who themselves don't speak speak English. Uh, uh, sorry, they don't speak Swedish at all. Uh, it's uh, you might be wondering how do they how do they actually communicate when they are doing their meetings or when they are doing their projects and everything. Trust me, Swedish people are very kind in this situation. If they if they if they know that you don't speak Swedish, they will, they will start speaking English by default. It's like a thing with them, I guess. It's like a, you know AI boom. English mode on yeah so whenever I have meetings with a lot of Swedish employ employees or Swedish colleagues they, they just speak English it doesn't really matter now where does this make you lazy I'll tell you why this is a good thing and a bad thing it's a good thing because you can easily integrate yourself into the society but it's a bad thing that you don't really put the effort anymore to learn Swedish because you know that you can get away with English almost anywhere here. Anywhere, trust me. If if that's 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 what made me lazy. I started learning Swedish, but then I left because I had a lot of uh, edu uh, a lot of pressure from my master's courses and, and my part-time jobs and everything. So I had to stop learning it, but. Ever since that day, I realized the fact that if you want to mingle with uh, the people in Sweden, for example, even though they speak English, everyone's com comfortable with Swedish, right? The first thing they'll start speaking in is Swedish. When they understand that you don't speak Swedish well, or you don't speak Swedish at all, they'll jump into English. But it's 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 you become you become like a party pooper when you when you when you are sitting there especially me right when i'm sitting there uh, in a, in a mingle in a party and everyone's speaking swedish and they suddenly realize oh this guy doesn't speak swedish we have to like we have to like turn our english mode on and then they sp they they speak in english just because of you for me it's kind of a it feels bad because i don't want them to be so polite always and so considerate in uh, in situations like this but you kind of become a party poop Apart from that, trust me. If you don't know, if you don't know Swedish, no problem. Doesn't doesn't really matter. But lastly, something which I will recommend uh, is the fact that in Sweden you get to learn Swedish for free. So if you, uh, I'll link down the uh, I'll link some of the links in the description, and these are links to SFI, Swedish for Immigrants. And it's known. Uh, it's called SFE in Sweden. Uh, there you will have a chance to learn Swedish. They have long-term courses, short-term courses for for uh, 
English speaking people, non English speaking people. So it's 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 a very easy way to learn uh, Swedish without even paying. It's free. Yes, it's free. You heard it right. Anyways, it's a long video, 12 minutes. I hope I hope that uh, one day uh, I can see some of the viewers uh, who are watching my videos in Sweden and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. I I'll, I'll I'll try to make more videos about certain topics. The next topic will be uh, job finding job jobs in your domain uh, if you're from an IT background how to get those jobs and blah 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 how to apply. It's been a long video, 13 minutes, too much, too good. Bye bye, hasta la vista. See you maybe next week. Hey, dope.